yes, I have another Sephora haul. And they're in for a treat since they gave me the big bag walking out of the store. You always know you spend a little too much money when they give you the big bag. Tis the makeup shopping season. It's currently the Sephora savings event going on. So I actually posted just on Friday my first haul. Now that was my online order. I always feel like shopping online versus in store is a different experience. I like to get both <laughs> done because you know, online a lot of times I'm picking up things that I know I've been wanting that have been on my wish list for a while. And I feel like in store, I'm always stumbling across things that just look good that maybe might not have caught my eye online. So make sure you check out my first haul. That one was also really, really good of my online order. But this one was when I went into store and had an absolute blast. So let's start off with the first item. I didn't even see this online before. I normally don't get the Sephora favorite skincare sets, but I thought that this looked so good. Now, if you don't know, I think the Sephora Favorites kits is the best way to leave Sephora with a lot of product without breaking the bank all at once. Now, of course, when you're looking into a Sephora's favorite kit, make sure you are actually purchasing one that has items that you think you're going to like and try. So this one looked really cool. It caught my eye. It's the Sun Safety Kit, and it was only $39, but there's 15 different items in here. Now, this one is really sample heavy. So do the, keep that in mind. I know a lot of people don't like samples. I like samples because I travel with samples and I'm not an SPF expert. And I feel like I'm always looking for the best SPF. And this one has 15 different options in here. There's only one full size of the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen, which is a nice one. It's definitely one of the more affordable brands at Sephora, so I see what they did there. But you have everything from Super Goop to Kiehl's, which I use the Kiehl's better screen UV sunscreen today. It's so nice and it's free is one of my favorite SPFs. The super goop unseen sunscreen is probably my favorite. So I have a lot of good ones to try and also a lot of my favorites in here. So I was excited about this. It's perfect for upcoming summer and you also get this little bag which is a little cheaply made but it's big. It holds a lot of stuff. I'm gonna play a TikTok that I made really quickly so you can see everything that did it. This kit gives you 15 items for under $40. I picked this up at Sephora today for the Sephora sale, so it was even cheaper than that. SPF girls, this is for you. This one has a lot of samples, but there is a full-size Inkyless Polyglutamic Acid SPF, St. Jane Pore Smoothing SPF 30, a classic Super Goop Glow Screen. I cannot have too many of these. Polish Choice Daily Hydrating Fluid with SPF 50, Fenty Skin Hydrovisor, Sun Care Lip Balm with SPF, Kiehl's Better Screen UV Serum, Dr. Jart Color Correcting Treatment, Dermalogica Skin Recovery SPF 50 Daily Moisturizer, Summer Fridays Shade Drops Mineral Sunscreen, Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 50 Sunscreen, Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen, Shiseido Water Resistant Sunscreen, Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench, Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer, Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops. 15 items, $30. As somebody who's on the search for the best SPF, this was perfect for me. So I got that, that was $39 before the discount. So that's not bad, especially as somebody who has been wanting to find the best SPF. That's a great way for me to try it. Moving on to complexion, I picked up three different base products and we're gonna talk about it. So the first one is the one that I'm wearing today. And honestly, I am really liking it. I believe this is my first ever Urban Decay foundation. Isn't that crazy? I've never used Urban Decay foundation before, at least that I remember. So I picked up the brand new Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. Now this was not on my list to try, but while I was at Sephora, I was like, you know what, I really wanna try this. I picked up the shade 10 Light Neutral. It is in perfect shade match if you are a shade match buddy with me here. So it's actually very nice. It has light or coverage, I would say, between light and medium, and you can barely feel it on the face. It's really thin and lightweight, so if you don't like the feel of foundation on your face, I think you're going to like this. Overall, I am enjoying this so far. I'm in the very early stages of testing it. I will say make sure you're exfoliated and skin prepped and hydrated if you have dry skin or if it's in the winter because I can kind of see it not getting along with a little bit of dryness. Nothing bad to the point where I'm like, ooh, if you have dry skin, this isn't flattering. I just think a little tiny bit of good prep is necessary. It's nothing that's bothering me right now. 
especially because I love how thin and lightweight this feels. So this is a self-setting foundation. It definitely has more of a matte finish here from what I'm able to tell. Water, sweat, and humidity proof. We'll have to test that in the summer. Smudge and transfer resistant, no powder needed. I did, of course, do a little bit of powder in the T-zone area where I'm a little bit more porous, but I'm interested to see how this wears. It has niacinamide, and you can't feel the coverage. Lightweight, medium buildable. I would say it's light to medium coverage. You can build it up to medium. Non-comedogenic. Anyways, I think it looks really beautiful on my skin. I now am interested to see how this wears based on the wear claims on this, but it looks really pretty, so so far I'm liking this. I also picked up two other complexion products. I'm not going to swatch them because I, I got the wrong shade. Fix the lighting in Sephora. Oh my gosh. These looked decent and I even looked online to like see the shade descriptions to make sure they were sounding right. I got home and they like look orange. So I've been wanting to try the Skin Rewind Complexion Stick from Ilia. I love a good foundation stick. I got the shade 12N Sycamore and I think this could work for me especially in the summer but I'm like kind of sitting on it to decide if I want to use it or not or return it or give it away whatever. There's this weird dent in it and that's intentional. It's in all of the packaging but at first I opened it up and I thought it was gonna get like dent. But anyways weightless firming smoothing. It's the fountain of youth in a foundation stick apparently. Weightless buildable coverage, power, powerful firming and smoothing ingredients, natural matte finish, 12 hour wear. Can't speak on that. I'm still excited about this. I might rip into this because this looks like I could make it work, you know, with a lighter colored concealer paired with it. But I'm going to have to sit on it. I don't know if I want to use it or not, but it has a really pretty Ilia embossment. I am a foundation stick fan, so I am excited to try this. I might go in and exchange it very soon though. So I think we'll eventually have my right color and even worse of a color match than I did. And this one is my fault to be fair because they didn't have the shade that I wanted so I went darker when I think I should have gone lighter because the lighting in Sephora I felt like made the color look lighter than it was actually. But I got the ABH Beauty Balm Serum Boosted Skin Tint. So this is a skin tint in a stick form which I thought looked interesting. The packaging is not very luxe. I feel like ABH used to have nice packaging. I picked up the shade number six. I mean, this just looks like it's going to be orange on me. So this one definitely will be in exchange. Like the Ilia, I feel like I could get away with this. This one, I don't know that I can. So I'm going to exchange it and eventually you guys will see the right shade. I have to hit up a different Sephora to see because this one that I picked it up at, that Sephora was out of the shade that I wanted. So isn't that the worst? Anyways, I thought I could swing it with what I saw in store, but then when I got home, I realized they were both darker, just with the regular lighting. So, boo, but shout out to me for at least shade matching Urban Decay right. Normally, I'm a make it work kind of girl, but I don't know about those two, but I'm still excited. These are still the two newest complexion products. I just gotta get the right shade. I picked up so many blushes, you guys. Five. But all of the blush launches are speaking to me on another level. So, um... We're just gonna go with it. The first one that I picked up is like my third, fourth color of this. It's so good. The Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. So this is a liquid highlight. First of all, I'm not a liquid highlight fan, so that's how you know it's good. Now, I don't love this as a liquid highlight alone, but this product is so versatile. So as just a liquid highlight, the glow falls a little flat for me. However, it's such good quality. It doesn't act funny over or under powder. So the quality is good nonetheless. But I actually like these as more of like a blush lighter kind of deal. So rosy is my all-time favorite. That one has a lot of color to it. So I wanted to try the shade Peachy because I felt like this one could be a perfect blush lighter as well. It definitely gives less pigment and impact on my complexion than the rosy. But if you are very fair, this will have the prettiest impact on your face and you see in the demo it's a gorgeous subtle pink glow to the cheek this is actually really good for building up between a peachy blush and a highlighter it's that perfect in between but it still is really natural on my skin as a nice peachy glowy blush and what I ended up doing that made this even more beautiful in my opinion but anyways this before I get into that this is a gorgeous peachy 
blush lighter look and I can wear it as blush it's just a little bit more subtle which makes it perfect for lighter more natural makeup days doesn't act funny over powder is really high quality and the glow isn't intimidating as a blush so this is a splurge for sure but for me this is a product that is worth the splurge especially luckily since I'm a rouge I get 20% off and don't ask me for a rouge coat I already give mine away so sorry but if you have any friends that are makeup shoppers that you think are rouge, ask them if they have the code. <laughs> because if you didn't know, you can hunt down a rouge member and they have a code for one friend for a one-time use. But anyways, love this. And what made it even more gorgeous, I picked up my annual Laura Mercier blush. Every Sephora sale, I've been picking up one of these blushes because they're just a good solid formula. I think this is the last time because this is the last color that I didn't have. This is peach. Well, anyways, it's the blush color infusion from Laura Mercier. It's a really solid blush formula. Perfect, blendable, doesn't give too much pigment, doesn't give too little pigment. Uh, just a really nice, easy application. And I like their colors a lot too. They tend to be very wearable and not overwhelming on my skin tone. So I picked up peach. And what I did today, mostly for demo purposes, but it ended up being really nice. I have the Peachy Dior Forever Glow Maximizer on and then I put this right on top and these two formulas like mwah 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 okay <laughs> because the glow from the Dior is peeking through but it's not overwhelming it's not emphasizing pores because this is more of like a soft matte finish so I put this over top and it's really blurred looking because the powder is on top but the glow is so stunning from the Dior it's just ever so subtly peeking through so this, under this, a surprising, really nice match. Like, I'm definitely going to do this again. That's how pretty it looks on the cheek. Okay, we have a lot more blushes to talk about. The next one, I picked up another color of the LYS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Stick. Now, this is the one I originally wanted. I picked up a different shade uh, for the first haul, and then I saw that they had the shade that I originally wanted in store. So it's bubbly. It's interesting because they describe it as a soft pink. Ain't nothing soft about this on my skin tone. It's very, very pigmented, so be careful. Really pretty iridescent pink packaging. Use a light hand with this. It's got so much color as you saw in the demo, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous cream blush shade. This is very, very malleable, just like the bronzer stick, but you have to be careful because of how malleable it is. You pick up a lot of pigment and color as well, but it blends out really, really nice. I prefer this formula as a blush stick as opposed to a bronzer. Yeah, I'm loving this. I think this looks so gorgeous. So I now have two shades of these. I think they are beautiful. Don't let too much product come out of here, or it can be a mess because these are more malleable. But this is what bubbly looks like, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pink shade. Three powder blushes. Well, you saw the one Laura Mercier. So I have two more. NARS redid their blush line. I don't know if they reformulated, but they definitely repackaged. Everything looks really sleek. And I actually don't even really have any NARS powder blushes other than what's in palettes. So I picked up a classic shade from NARS. God, their names, can they stop with it? Let me show you the packaging first. It's just really sleek and square, and the display was looking really nice with all of the blushes, so I wanted to pick up one. I picked up this really pretty like peachy shade. It's gonna be really nice for the summer. I picked up, I picked up Deep Throat. <laughs> Don't be weird about this. NARS is making it weird, not me. <laughs> but I picked up Deep Throat and it just looks like a really pretty everyday color. I haven't used this yet, so I don't have anything to say about it yet, but I will let you know. I need to look it up. Did they reformulate or is it just kind of like a rebrand repackage? Can you guys let me know? It does have removable pans very easily here. Still has that simple NARS vibe, but it just looked really clean on the display. So I wanted to pick one up and I don't know, depending on how I like the formula, even though it's the last thing I need, I want to pick up another one. The last blush that I picked up is the Givenchy Prism Powder Blush. So this is a loose blush, and I picked up the shade number 5. Now, I originally picked up a shade of this that I didn't like months ago. It was just too light, didn't really show up on me, so I was determined, and I got a shade that's deeper. I really like the soft formulation of this, so I just wanted it in a color that was going to be flattering and pretty on me. So this one, 
looks quite bright. I can't wait to see it on my skin tone. I haven't tried it yet. I just know that this has like a really soft look on the cheek. So I'm excited to see this particular color. And I know a lot of you guys have recommended this to me, especially this color and this formula. It's very well loved. So I will keep you updated on that. Two final things. This one's not as exciting, but I've been talking about this eyeliner nonstop. It's the Lancome Lace Stylo Waterproof eyeliner they don't have any fun colors in my sephora they only have black and brown but that's perfect because i wanted a brown shade so i got number three chocolate matte so why i love these is because they're smudgeable but then when they set they set they don't move and they're one of the best eyeliners in the waterline so today i used it as eyeliner on my upper lash line and it's perfect because i can just kind of like messily plop it on my eye line and then I'll use a brush or the sponge on the back and blend it out and that gives it a really smooth look. It gives it a lot of versatility. It get, makes it very easy to get a wing and then when it sets it's not going to move. Also I put it on my tight lane and the thing that's amazing is it doesn't really spill down over to the waterline. It's set on my tight lane and it's going to stay there all day. One of the longest lasting eyeliners ever so I just bought this just purely for the amazing formulation it's not new it's not now it's not hot it's not trendy uh but it's just a great great formula and then the last thing i got was a formula that i have been wanting more colors of i purchased one a couple sales ago but it's always been on my mind that i want to get another color of the nars afterglow sensual shine lipstick so i went with the shade voyeur these have such pretty slim packaging even if you have dry lips this doesn't catch on to the dryness on the lips and it's really smooth, has a little bit of shine, it's very comfortable, it feels very thin, it's not too thick or glossy. Because I know those lip gloss sticks are popular, this is not a lip gloss stick. This is just a really thin, hydrating lipstick formula and it looks really pretty on the lips. I like this formula a lot. And the first color that I have is Orgasm and that one's really pretty, it has a metallic look to it. But I wanted more of like a classic flat color and voyeur is such a pretty peachy color peach is in for spring if you ask me so i'm excited you know i have my peach lipstick my peach blush my peach blush lighter it's gonna be a good spring season for me that is everything that i picked up this round at the sephora store i'm in the shopping mood like i want to buy more but y'all know i don't need to do that so other than exchanging a couple of things, I'm going to try and put on. I know there's a lot of new things at Sephora that you guys are like, Morgan, are you getting it? I do have a video coming up. I have, you know, the Rare Beauty blushes. Those came in PR, so I didn't buy those. But I would have if I didn't know they were coming. They emailed me to let me know. So I held off. Pat McGrath Pink Powder. I have the new Natasha Denona. Um, highlighter. I have a lot of new items that I didn't skip out on. I've just been saving them for a video. But anyways, some of the stuff I didn't try today. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel because everything in this video, whether I tried it or not, will eventually be featured in a upcoming speed reviews. But these will be in like a what I bought at the Sephora sale speed reviews video. So it will be coming. Just hang tight. Everything that I purchased during the sale, you will hear back about going to wear my makeup every day. <laughs> such hard work so that I can give you guys a speed review as soon as possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, let me know what you picked up during the Sephora sale. Did I influence you to purchase anything at the Sephora sale? And hopefully you loved it if I did. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.